For much more on today's news, Meredith Morakovitz is standing by with the Clubhouse Report. And Meredith, as Jack and I just discussed, just a huge day for Brian Cashman and the New York Yankees bolstering their squad. Chris, no doubt about it, a busy day in Yankee land, but a very good day in Yankee land as well. Jack, you detailed all the trades that they made this afternoon, and it's funny, Aaron Boone sat down for his pregame press conference like he usually does at 4 o'clock, and he talked about Scott Efros and what he would mean to that bullpen, what type of arm they're getting there, and about 20 minutes later, you broke the news that they were, in fact, getting Frankie Montas. Aaron Boone was already out on the field for batting practice. He found out when he was by the cage that they did indeed acquire Frankie Montas. Now, Anthony Rizzo came out of the dugout and I spoke to him briefly and he said anytime you can get a top of the rotation guy, obviously that is going to help your team throughout the stretch run and in the postseason. But when you first hear of it, you wonder, is it real? Is it really happening? Well, we know now that it is indeed happening. And earlier, Aaron Boone spoke for the second time to the media, and he was asked whether or not he thinks this team is now significantly better with that addition. I think when you think Benny and Efros and, uh, and now Montas and Trevino, there's no question. Uh, we added four, you know, in their specific positions, I feel like high caliber uh, players. Uh, so to intertwine them with our group already, um, yeah, I mean, on paper we're better, but, you know, I will caution it with that's just on paper. We got to go out and do it still and, and go out and prove that. But uh, we definitely um, upped our talent in, in these last few days. With, with Cole and now Montes, how do you feel like your one two kind of stacks up across the league? You know, I, I'd feel great about any of them going up against. Obviously, there's some, some great other tandems, you know, in both leagues. There's some great other trios in both leagues. Um, and we feel like we certainly can match them. And then, you know, I'd, I'd extend it to a few of our other guys, too. So we feel good about the people we have and look forward to going to battle with it. And those three guys will not be on the active roster this evening. Time will tell exactly how long it takes for the guys from Oakland to get here. But Scott Efros is expected to come into New York at some point in time tonight. He most likely will be activated tomorrow for this Yankees roster. I also went on to ask Aaron Boone if he thinks that Brian Cashman in that front office is done right now. And he just smiled and said, well, we'll have to wait and see. There's still a little bit of time left until that 6 p.m. August 2nd deadline. Now. I had the opportunity to catch up with pitching coach Matt Blake, and I asked him why he thinks Frankie Montas's stuff is going to play here in the Bronx. Well, obviously it starts with a lively fastball. He's got a you know mid to upper 90s fastball. Well, four seam and two seam uh, that he attacks you with, and we we saw it firsthand here when he came and pitched against us here at the stadium. So, you know, he's got a presence to him out there, and then he's got a full complement of secondary pitches. So it's a upper echelon starter, and he'll fit right in. He had some shoulder issues in early July. Is that at all a concern in how you use him in the final two months of the season? Yeah, I think it's just something to be aware of. I think it's something we'll, we'll monitor, just like the rest of our guys. You want to do right by them but you know get him in here take inventory and kind of how he's feeling where he's at you know just talk about just what it was and kind of just let's put a plan together with him and, and included in that all right yes some the relievers as well Lou Trevino what do you like about him Aaron Boone made the comment his numbers not great this year but you think there's some stuff that you see some underlying stats that tells you he's better than he's been pitching yeah it's a guy that we've known for a while we've had interest in over the last couple years uh, he's pitched in some high leverage situations in Oakland uh, it's a good right-handed reliever that can match up well and there's some like some stuff that we can work on to help match up with lefties a little bit better but you know just looking at how his season's been the superficial numbers and the ERA aren't great but the underlying stuff points to a better year than it may be on the surface and I think just a couple little things a couple little tweaks and we should be in a good spot with him. Scott Efros also joining the club as well what do you like about his stuff? Yeah, he's uh, really accustomed to or he's changed his delivery over the last two years and went from a higher slot to more of a drop down sidearm and it's kind of changed his profile overall and he's got a nice sinker slider combo to righties and he's got a little upshoot fastball similar to maybe Darren O'Day is kind of a comp but you know he's kind of got a full arsenal attacks the zone he's got a different look and kind of complement the other guys we have out there. How do you see those guys being deployed in the bullpen? 
Yeah, I think it just gives us a chance to continue to match up. We've got some unique arms out there, a lot of different looks, and I think it just gives us a, a bunch of different lanes to operate in. Have you had any discussions? I know the trade just happened not that long ago about what the rotation now will look like. Who will be the odd man out? Not, not completely yet. I think it's something we want to work through a little bit more, and it kind of depends on when Frankie gets here. So uh, he's obviously got to travel in, and he's got a couple things. I think he's got uh, a funeral he's got to attend. So we'll have uh, to figure out what the right date is to slot him back in and you know get him on track here. What's the feeling like for a pitching coach today when you get these types of reinforcements coming on the way? I suppose it's a little bit like Christmas, open up your presents under the tree. Obviously, we want to get them here and get to know them and talk through kind of where they're at and kind of, like we say, partner with them and meet them where they're at. And how involved are you in this whole process? Do you hear things that might happen or going on? When do you finally learn that, hey, this is happening? I think they, they largely try and keep me out of the loop so I can just focus on the current guys we have here and not worry too much about the couldas and wouldas and shouldas. Uh, I think they do a good job of asking us the questions when they need to be answered. But for the most part, uh, they do good work and provide us with players that we can help.